What's going on guys, Andy here, G4 Outdoors, and today we're going to be talking about the Life Pod. This is the Pew Pew Edition from Coleon Noir. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns now before we even really get into this video, I want to talk about some stuff real quick. I'm not going to get into the full specs and details. I'll read some stuff off of the box for you, but there's just more my review and initial thoughts after having this for about six months now. Now this LifePod is a great standalone safe to carry around with you while traveling, at home if you have children. It's the best part about being a responsible gun owner is being responsible. So it's my obligation as a father and a responsible gun owner to make sure this stays out of the wrong hands at all times. Now let's get into some of the specs off the box. Now you can securely store it. It says handguns up to seven and three quarter inches max. Passports, wallets, phones, EDC gear, knives, medicine, more, whatever you're looking for. Environmental protection, water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant, airtight, dust proof, and it floats up to a two pound load, which is pretty cool. Some of the accessories it comes with is a tethered lanyard, manual keys, interior travel organizer, different sorts of foam, a pluck foam and a regular tubular foam, four foot steel security cable to travel if you wanna lock it up into your car and things like that. Now the reason I bought this is I do have one of my big safes with me next to the bed, but it's not the easiest and most simple thing to get into, especially if it's three o'clock in the morning, you've been sleeping for the last four or five hours, you may not have your wits about you. So something like this can stay on top of my safe, on top of the nightstand, it's easy for me to get into. We're opened up, we're ready to go, we're ready to rock and roll. It's as simple as that. You do have these two little clasp locks on the side, which is what gives you that airtight or water resistantness. If you're not using these, you're not gonna be very water resistant or dust proof. This does have a little bit of a play to it. But I love the ease of opening. I almost kind of wish it would open itself electronically. I thought it would be really cool, but it doesn't. So we'll go ahead and lock this. Uh, I just have a random combination put in here for right now. Uh, super simple to get into it. Lock, combo, you're in it. So if I'm on top of my nightstand, on top of my safe, I can get into this real fast. I do wish it was just a hair bigger, but it's still fine for what it is. I can hold my gun in here. This is a Springfield Armory Hellcat, which fits in there just fine with an optic. I have two magazines in there. I have a 13 round and an 11 round in there. And I also carry a little EDC knife to have in there with me because I always like having a knife no matter what. So inside the safe itself, I just have it all hollowed out. I don't need a cutout to fit for my gun. I wanna be able to get in here and grab what I need real fast. I don't need it all fitted in here to anything, but it does come with those options and padded options as well. You also have a little binder here in the back for credit cards, license, whatever kind of storage you wanna have. If you have your gun with you out on a trip, you can carry all that stuff in here, nice, simple, and easy. And like I said, besides the cutout, it also comes with a little foam pad. If you wanted to have that in here, you do lose a little bit more of that storage room, but you still get the padded protection of keeping your stuff nice and like not getting all scratched up. And in the box, it also does come with a lanyard and cable, like I said, but I don't know why anyone would want to carry something like this on a lanyard. But the cable, I think, is very handy and a very cool feature for this. If I wanted to tie this into my car, into my seat of my truck, and just strap it in and lock it up so no one can get it in or out. I think it's a really cool feature to have a safe built in that you can also mount to other things as well. But I'm gonna talk real quick about a couple of the things that I wish it did have. I wish it had a little more depth and a little bit more width, not a ton, because it still needs to be compact because that's the whole point, but a little bit more depth so I could keep my firearm with my holster in here. But with the holster, as you can see, it will not close. There's not enough depth to it for it to close, so I'm unable to do that. But as it is, it'll fit without it, which I guess is fine. Because I can still fit my firearm, like I said, Springfield Hellcat, knife, and two magazines with no problem whatsoever. 
Like I said, guys, this isn't a product placement necessarily for the LifePod itself, especially the Coleon Noir edition. I just I just support what Coleon Noir does. I love his content on YouTube. Uh, but for a nightstand safe, I think this is a phenomenal little safe to have. A nice little safe to carry around with you on trips and to keep your firearm out of the wrong hands. Like I said, responsible father, responsible gun owner. I don't want this in the hands of anyone that shouldn't be having it. So after the last five to six months, I haven't had any problems with this. I've had no issues with it not locking, no issues with it getting unlocked. The combination works fine. I do wish there was a little bit more clickiness to the buttons to feel. You could feel them real easy, but there's no click to them. It's just finger touch, almost like a fingerprint scan would be. There's no give back, no feedback to the buttons whatsoever. I kind of wish there was. But as far as what this is, like I said, a nice little nightstand safe or a safe to have on top of your safe or easy access to get to your firearm. If you're in one of those situations, I think it's a phenomenal little safe, a phenomenal little compact safe. I would recommend it to anybody. If you guys do want to check them out, go check out LifePod. Like I said, this isn't a sponsored video, but after the six months of using this, I've actually fell in love with this little tiny safe and I use it all the time. So yeah, guys, really not much to it. I just wanted to show you this product and check it out. Like I said, last six months, it's worked phenomenal. If you're in the market for a small little compact safe, I would check LifePod out, man. They have really cool products. This is one of them. Uh, I bought this myself and I haven't had a single problem with it and I will continue to use it. I just wanted to show you guys this product to check it out. So if you guys like this video, just short, cool, and to the point, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd always appreciate that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have a safe like this or something similar, maybe from another company, maybe another vault -Tec product that you like a lot. But I like this vault -Tec Life Pod a lot. So like I said, guys, I'm out and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Whether super crappy or you might be stuck inside, search G4 Outdoors YouTube online. But as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break?